you're late. Darius is making his move. The piece of Eden is somewhere inside Buckingham Palace. Let him have it. I've seen your handiwork across the city. Perhaps you should trust my judgment. I've been killing Starrett's henchmen. What have you been doing? Let's ask Henry, shall we? I have been repairing your mistakes. Too much haste is too little speed. Don't you talk father at me. That's Clayton. And I am sorry, this doesn't involve anything you can destroy. Father was right, he never approved of your methods. Father is dead! Enough! I have just received word from my spies. At the palace hall tonight, Starrett plans to steal the Piece of Eden and then eliminate all the heads of church and state. Once more for old time's sake? Unexpected delight to visit you both. <laughs> what is the news on the street? This is to show it all. We have discovered that there is something inside Buckingham Palace that could threaten the... <laughs> what my sister's failing to say is that we require entrance into the ball tonight. But impossible! Even if there were any invitation cards remaining, which there are not, uh, someone of your... Lowly station. If that damn fool Gladstone is attending this evening, they can have my car. Perfect. Then I'll go alone. Mrs. Fitzwilliam, if you would be kind enough to inform my guard of the location of the Gladstone's residence, perhaps he could use his considerable speed to commandeer their cars. Oh, what, the hell? what fun! Did you hear that, Daisy? They're going to pinch the Gladstone's invitation. Thank you for volunteering, my sister. Oh, a pleasure, Father Arceus. Now, Mrs. Fitzwilly, if you would excuse me, I must visit with the Maharaja. It occurs to me that he may have a second set of plans to a certain vault. with them. You wouldn't happen to have seen two carriages pass by here just now? I did, sir. One with a man in it, the other with a woman. They split up. Where did the man go? That way. Thank you. private party event. Don't mind if I do.
the girl? Let's go. Maybe I'll... I haven't been quite as delicate as I could have been. What's he doing? Mrs. Gladstone's under guard. Better be cautious. Better wait until she's alone. <laughs> now is my chance. One should not attend the Queen's Ball without making a proper entrance. For the invitations. What's this? Swords must be left at the door by order of the Queen. Freddy will know what to do. She got this. Where did you buy it? Did your sister, Mommy, ask you? Ask all you want, Freddy. You'll never get an answer. Damn it all. Was it my eyebrows? Yes. And your face, voice, and body. Look, I've got an invitation to the Queen's Ball tonight. How did you come by that? Freddy, there's to be an attack on the ball. I need to smuggle some weapons inside to prevent it. Supposing I believe you, only the Royal Guard carries weapons. So? Too easy. For God's sake, Freddy. Fine. I require a guard's uniform. Done. I knew you'd come through. Just promise me, Jacob, that you will return Mr. Gladstone's coach. Of course.
Take care not to ruin the uniform.
One uniform as requested. It's still warm. My gift to you? I will meet you on the roof of Buckingham Palace. It's such a romantic...